Anyasia Yoruban, my name is Kadi, and this is an Nigerian Korean lover. In this video, I want us to dive into the world of Josin palaces through books. So let's jump right into the video, guys. Welcome to my channel. This is a Korean channel, it's a new channel. So, guys, my channel is named Nigerian Korean Lover. It's a channel born out of the interest of the Korean culture art. Okay, I'm also interested in collaborating, you know, if you love Korean culture or if you want me to like review Korean products, you can email me and you can send me a DM. So I hope that you subscribe to my channel. So the Joseon dynasty is a very important time in history of the Korean people. And in this book, we are just looking at the palaces that is found in Joseon. That is the idea behind this book, okay? So it's an education in traditional history and culture in relation to the Joseon dynasty. This book looks at the history of the Joseon um, palaces, the idea behind Joseon royal palaces, you know, and it looked at the auspicious symbolism in the palace architecture. So why is the palace architecture important? What does it symbolize? It also looks at the palace garden and aesthetics. You know, in different Korean dramas, you see different palaces, and you see that they pay attention to the gardens, the um, aesthetics, and there are different philosophies behind this. Also, during the Joseon period, there are certain snacks fit for only royals, and this book looks at the different snacks fit for royalties, the court delicacy of the Joseon dynasty. It also looks at the court paintings, wishful art, you know, in the palaces, there are plenty of court paintings, wishful art. And then inside the palace, there are people that are really skilled and talented. So this is the skills and the genius inside the palace of Josim. Then we have cultural expenses tied to the palaces, and this book looks at it. It also focuses on the female narrative and singing returns in Josim dynasty. And they have the interview section where photographs were transformed into sculptures. And then we have guardians of heritage that's trying to find the collaboration between the old and the new culture and then it looks at the trash and the changing attitude it looks at people in love with korea you know trying to show the ordinary life passes what is now in the sports the entertainment the cake you see the lifestyle you know what is on what is going on the critics literary concerns projection of the different korean um, calendar korean lifestyle to mention a few then we have short stories in this book one of the important thing in this book is that it tries to show what is going on in the art and the culture calendar so guys this book is very rich thank you for watching remember to like to share to subscribe and turn on the notification button I have other videos on talking about books related to the Korean culture. Please check them out. Give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends. And I'll see you amazing people in my next video. Sarangye.